Hello everyone, welcome to today's healing vlog. I mentioned at the end of April in my chill London day in the life vlog, I had finished three months of therapy and I wanted to talk to you guys today about three things that I've been doing since my sessions ended that my therapist recommended I do to help me stay a bit more stable and not allow myself to be completely overwhelmed by anxiety and stress when they come in. They do come is something that I'm still very much dealing with. The three things my therapist suggested I do was to go for a walk, to try guided meditation and to do something that I enjoy. The going for a walk, I started doing that while I was in my sessions. Um, she'd always like remind me, have you gone for your walk this week? I decided that for the hobbies part, I wanted it to be trying to take pictures more and also to get more into books again. However, the last thing, the guided meditation, I didn't start until after the sessions had finished because I was a bit hesitant with that. And so this morning I got ready and I've gone out for my walk. I walked for about 40 minutes, you know, getting that exercise in, breathing in that fresh air, drinking my water. And after that, I found this area that I love going to. And I just walked up and down the bank area and just breathed in. And so guided meditation is something that, like I said, I was hesitant to do at first. However, I absolutely love it and I recommend it so much nowadays. It reminds you to breathe and with the guided meditation part, you also have someone's affirming voice say things to you like you are worthy, just things you need to get reminded of. Something that actually happened last week, I had a mini breakdown. When I was trying to edit the previous video, I wanted to do something slightly different with the audio. I've been trying to learn something new with a different application. And I was trying to do something and it just wasn't working out. I was watching the YouTube tutorials and I'd see the guy do it and I'd try to do it and it wasn't working out and it was really stressing me out to the point that I just broke down and then I started crying. I was crying because the situation was stressful, but also because like I started saying things to myself at that point in time, like, oh, all these things aren't working. Nothing ever works when I do them. That day it hit me really hard that I couldn't do this thing. While I was crying, I was just like, I need to turn this laptop off. And I turned the laptop off and I put on a guided meditation. And I did the guided meditation for stress and anxiety. For 10 minutes, I just sat and calmed down. About half an hour later, I went back to finish and I managed to find a different way to do what I was trying to do. However, I just thought about the fact that if this was maybe four or five months ago, I would have had that little cry session. I would have broken down absolutely bin and bits and I've just stayed in that state for the rest of the day. Whereas because of the guided meditation, I have learned to pause, pick myself back up. I've learned to be aware of my thoughts and also let go of my thoughts. And I have just learned that it's okay to necessarily not have everything going perfectly and let it not necessarily reflect on me and I'm still learning that there are still harder days than others but I just wanted to share the fact that last week I really felt like it was a massive triumph because it was like I was having this cry session but I stopped and breathed in and I would not have been able to do that if not for the fact that I've been practicing guided meditation daily for the last few months. And so yeah, after I just spent some time by the pond, I went to sit on the bench and got my book out. Books was one of my hobbies and interests I wanted to get back into. Compared to last year, I really wasn't reading any books, whereas now I managed to read a book, you know, a proper book with pages last month in June. I read 1984. And so my thing with books is that it calms me down. I can read it before I go to bed as well. You know, just gets me to reset, gets me to just, you know, imagine things and learn things and just be in another world. These last three months, I have been a different person and I get so emotional just thinking about the fact that some days I feel fine and that has taken a long time, a long process to get to and just to be calm. You know, the highs are great, but honestly, I love the calms, just that peace and quiet of just being in the moment and everything is just okay. And I feel like I am meant to be where I'm meant to be. We've come to the end of the video. Um, I had a really nice morning. I'm going to try to do more healing vlogs and um, also maybe go for an actual guided meditation with you guys because I feel like this is part of the outcome. Um, Jemima, the outcome is 
you know, all of me, the physical, the mental, the soul. And I want to share that journey with you guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see my face again. Ring that notification bell so you know when I post. Until then, bye.